Welcome back. On Friday, Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemihew released details of legislation that would move Wisconsin to a flat personal income tax. Now, the legislation would shift the tax rate to 3.25% for all filers by 2026. Wisconsin's current rates range from about 3.5% to 7.6. Last week, right here on Upfront, Governor Tony Evers told us he would likely veto a state budget that included a flat tax. And now in a new interview, the new Democratic Senate Minority Leader Melissa Agard agrees. Do you plan to lead any differently than we've seen in, in previous sessions? Um, you know, I think that one of the things that you're going to see is me encouraging my members to spend more time outside of the Capitol building. Um, you know, we've been talking for over a decade as Democrats about the fact that our um, boundaries of our districts are gerrymandered, that they're broken, um, that they're inherently flawed. And if we're going to lean into that, we also need to realize that there are amazing people not in our districts that want to be heard. Um, so I believe that what you're going to see is more of us outside of the Capitol building and frankly, outside of our districts. Let's talk about these early stages of the budget talks and the budget negotiations, which is going to take up a lot of your time and a lot of time of lawmakers. Republicans rolling out a flat tax proposal that they would like to see. The governor told us last week on the show that this could essentially be a deal breaker for him. Are Senate Democrats more open to that conversation of a flat tax? Uh, you know, we've done our research and we know that a flat tax is not a tax that's going to lift up the people of the state that need that need that help. Um, we agree with the governor that that's not how we should be going forward. And frankly, I would hope because we're early in um, the budget deliberations that the Republicans have heard that and they're going to roll up their sleeves and, and retool and bring something forward that we may actually be able to um, all agree on. Let's talk about marijuana. You've been a, a longtime advocate of, of legalizing here in the state. It, it seems like Republicans are inching closer to medical marijuana. We've seen comments in, in recent days from, from top Republicans. Would you, in this session at least, give up the push for recreational if it meant that medical could pass? Well, I'm not ever going to stop being um, a strong advocate uh, for full legalization responsible adult usage in the state of Wisconsin. But I welcome being at the table to talk about what a comprehensive, um, healthy medicinal bill would look like for the state of Wisconsin. I believe that I can be involved in both of those types of conversations. If Republicans say, Governor, take out recreational uh, out of your budget proposal when you present the budget and we can push forward a, a medical marijuana bill that you could potentially sign, w would you support the governor doing that? Well, the devil's in the details. So we can talk about medicinal bill um, but really, what are the nuts and bolts of that medicinal bill? They matter. Just last session, we had a number of different bills brought forward called medicinal, um, but they looked very, very different. So I, you know, I know the way the legislative process works. Um, I'm not willing to say I would support any medicinal bill because I know that the people in Wisconsin are passionate about this. I know that the vast majority of the people in the state know the most dangerous thing about cannabis is that it is illegal. Um, support us moving forward. And we are an island of prohibition. There's been a lot made of the governor's relationship with top Republican leaders. I'm curious your relationship with the Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu. Do you do you meet privately? What are, what are negotiations like as this session kicks off? Yeah, so Devin and I have had the opportunity to sit down and um, have private conversations with each other. I look forward to more of those um, occurring. We've shared cell phone numbers. Our staff has had the opportunity to sit down and get to know each other. Um, you know, at this point, I imagine we're not going to vote the same real frequently, uh, but we do have collegial relationships, and I look forward to being able to build on that and hopefully have some good momentum for the people of our communities. The governor has seemed to have drawn a few red lines in terms of the budget, of a flat tax, universal school choice uh, across the board, across this state. Is that a good position to be in at this point, Democrats, or the governor drawing, drawing lines on what he may sign or what he may veto at this point? Well. Let's be honest about this. Governor Evers just won his election um, at a much wider margin than people ever anticipated that he would. He heard from the people of Wisconsin as he was campaigning and as well over the previous four years that he was our governor about what matters to them. He is in touch with what it is that the people of our state want. Um, and I believe uh, very much in his vision and appreciate the fact that he is providing those parameters um, for the conversation so that we can get down to the nuts and bolts of what it is that people of Wisconsin are asking us to do. State's abortion law will likely end up before the state's high court. Uh, is your caucus planning any legislation around the abortion law, whether it be symbolic or, or for other purposes? Uh, my caucus very much supports the lawsuit that's been brought forward by Attorney General Josh Call, and I will be 
doing everything that I can um, to repeal the 1849 abortion ban, but right now uh, the work that the Attorney General is doing I think is paramount. Is that a maybe then? Well, we'll see uh, depending on how the, how the court cases yeah. go through. Right now that means standing behind the Attorney General and when that is um, exhausted, certainly we're going to do what we can here in the Capitol. All right, so Senator Agard also saying she is focusing a lot on this upcoming special election to replace State Senator Alberta Darling's seat. If Republicans win, remember, they will regain that two-thirds majority in the Senate. A lot to watch for out of that upcoming race. Yep. Matt, thank you. Still to come, the RNC in Milwaukee and the urgent fundraising effort already underway.